Today we're going to be talking about brake lever reach adjustment. We love how many kids bikes are coming with dual handbrakes now and free wheels. It is definitely the way to go. But here's a major problem. A lot of people don't know how to adjust the brake lever so little hands can actually reach them. And you know what happens if little hands can't reach their brake levers? They kind of ride out of control. Today I'm going to show you how to actually adjust those brake levers for proper reach for your child. And I'm going to be using a two millimeter Allen key. I'm going to show you a Phillips screwdriver, my favorite professional grade two millimeter Allen key, and a nickel. All right, let's check it out. We're going to start with our nickel so I could show you something. If I try to put the nickel between the brake lever and the handlebar on this side, look at all that distance. However, on this brake lever that I've already adjusted for little hands, my nickel barely fits in there. So even though if you look at the brake levers, they might not seem that different, there is a huge difference. And as a little hand is trying to reach out to grab this lever, it can be a game changer. So let's talk about how we're gonna make that adjustment. Most of the time on most brake levers, you're gonna need a two millimeter Allen key. And the two millimeter Allen key fits right into this reach adjustment screw that's on the inside of most brake levers like this. Now sometimes you might have a Phillips head screwdriver and a Phillips head screw right there. Okay, but on these brakes, we have a two millimeter Allen key. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my Allen key is in there all the way. If it's not in there all the way, if you just barely get it in, it's likely you're gonna strip this little tiny bolt here. Once it's in, then I can make my turn. Now, you see this blue goo on there? That is Loctite. If you have a brand new bike with a bunch of blue Loctite on it, this, this screw, this bolt could be really sticky. So be careful not to strip it. One of the ways you can be careful not to strip it is to squeeze the brake lever a little bit to relieve pressure on that bolt as you turn it. Now, if it's turning smoothly, you could take the long end and turn it a lot quicker. But again, if there's a lot of blue Loctite on there, you might not be able to get enough purchase on that short little side of the Allen key. My absolute favorite tool, which I highly recommend, and I'll put a link down below where to get these, this is a long T-handled two millimeter Allen key. The beauty of this, is you can sit way out here, make your adjustment really easily. So these don't cost that much, they make life a lot easier. So now you'll notice that the brake lever that was all gapped out, now I can't even fit my nickel in there. That could be too close. You wanna have your little buddy get on here and squeeze their brake and make sure that the lever is not hitting their knuckles. That's pretty important. You also want them to be equal on both sides. Once you adjust these brake levers for reach, it might actually restrict the brake on the rim to the point where you can't turn your tire. Because what you've essentially done is you've moved the brake arms closer to the rim by moving the brake in towards the handlebar. See that? If that's the case, and if you feel comfortable, you could loosen this pinch bolt on your brake right there with a five millimeter Allen key relax the cable a little bit and retighten this pinch bolt right here. If you don't feel comfortable with that, please take your bike to your local bike shop. They will help you out super quick, super easy, and make sure that it's done properly and safe so that the brake doesn't come undone later on. All right, that's our pro parent tip for today. Head out there and ride with your kiddo with more comfortable brake levers and send us a video. We'd love to see it. Keep your thumbs up and the rubber side down.